Hi, this is JB from Not Allowed Over Arkham. This time we are continuing the InSmart Conspiracy campaign. And uh, because in my last video playing the A Light in the Fog with Sister Mary, Sister Mary got defeated. So I started the whole campaign again with Stella Clark. And so far Stella has been doing quite good in this campaign. Uh, we have gathered a whopping uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 memories so far. Uh, we managed to save Agent Harper. Uh, we have uh, removed most of the bad symbols from the bag and etc. etc. Stella has gotten quite a lot of good cards into her deck so far. Uh, I managed to beat a light in the fog with Stella and got four experience from that. We managed to include the headdress and the idol into the deck and we also snatched the teachings of the order. And uh, we have managed to make the decision to stick together. So we have Thomas Dawson also in these scenarios, which are flashbacks. And this is a flashback scenario. But let's uh, look at Stella's deck first. So this is the deck we uh, had going into A Light in the Fog because we have uh, another flashback scenario we couldn't ex um, couldn't uh, spend the experience after Light in the Fog, so um, there are quite a lot of evasive tech in the deck. Uh, I have not killed a single Deep One enemy so far in this campaign, which is a feat in itself. I have uh, only killed a couple of enemies, I think, uh, a cultist and the suspect in the Vanishing of Elena Harper scenario. The deck revolves around, of course, the Stella failing deck. We have the rabbit's foot, Granny Orn. Uh, then we have Take Heart. Grit your teeth. And uh, look what I found. And stuff like that. Then, of course, we still have the 18 Derringer, just in case, if we ever need to kill anything. Uh, but I have used the experience to get one Charisma, so I have room for uh, Elena Harper or Thomas Dawson in the scenarios they are present. And also have the Mysterious Raven slot, so I can use that and uh, later get Granny Orn into the game. Uh, I've picked up two Altar Fates, because some of the treacheries are quite nasty that attach to locations, vehicles or st stuff like that, so Altar Fate can remove those. I've also added Snare Traps, which are really good in some of the scenarios where the enemies are pursuing you. Uh, Lucky is a good card and I've already upgraded one to level 3 and one to level 2. Then I have survival instinct because many times when I have been playing in Smart Conspiracy camp uh, campaign and the scenarios there is a situation where I might be uh, evading two to three enemies at a time and st stuck with those so survival instinct could save me from those kinds of situations. Uh, the basic weakness is Nihilism, which isn't that bad. And I think that's all I have to talk about the deck at this point. So let's get into the scenario. Uh, we are playing the Lair of Dagon. So this is the seventh scenario in Instant Conspiracy. So after this, there is only the last scenario left. And this is a flashback. So uh, we are playing before the events of the first scenario. Uh, we have the teachings of the order in play. 
the only thing I have used from that is to uh, remove a floor token from a non sanctum location. So we still can remove all the curse tokens and defeat a non elite enemy at our location uh, during the setup of this scenario because we have uh, over eight memories recovered. We have to add five curse tokens into the bag. So this is why I had this showing so I can show that they go into the bag. And uh, we need to find. So, uh, Act 1A, uh, we need to get the purple key to unlock the entrance to the caves, and it, it is done here in the grand entryway. We can move in the first floor and the second floor, but the third floor is locked, and we need to uh, find a way to unlock the third floor before we can move it into there. So I think um, that is all I have to say about the scenario. I'll talk about more of the different things when they are uh, affecting gameplay. So let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand for Stella. So right away we get quite an interesting start. So we get the track shoes, which are really good uh, in this campaign uh, as a whole. Except for those scenarios we are in a vehicle and we can't use them. But the others, it's just a great card. Then we have the uh, waveborn idol and the headdress head of Hunt Lay. <laughs> Very difficult words. Then we have a snare trap and lucky. Uh, we really need some clue tech, so I think, as it pains me, I'll just uh, draw up four more cards. So I one too many. So we get the daring chair, belly of the beast, grit your teeth, and the mysterious raven. So not that good of a starting hand. He really wanted to see a old keychain or something like that. But we have the Raven, which helps us to get at least one clue easily. Then we have a weapon if we need to kill cultists, which there are plenty in this scenario. So our objective is to find the caves and move into them and find the lair of Dagon. And that's basically the story. We are infiltrating the uh, esoteric order of Dagon. So this is a flashback where we are in, get, going in there with Thomas Dawson. Uh, first action. Oh yeah, I still need to my resources down. So I'll use, just use one to place down the Raven. And uh, Thomas Dawson is in play when we start. So we have Charisma. So we have a slot for Raven. Second action, I'll play track shoes. I'll just place them over here. Those are in my hand. And last action, we'll move to here. So we find the Hall of the Deep. And it is a three shot location with one clue. Spent the red key, there is an audible click as the crest of blood is fits into the stone altar. To set aside one play statue story asset into play under your control, first side face up. Post after Hall of the Deep is revealed, increase its flood level. So it gets uh, partially flooded right away. I'll actually use the track shoes to go back to the grand entryway because this is not where we need to be at this point of the uh, game. So I'm testing... Actually, I'm, uh, I'll grab the clue from here before I move. So I'll take one horror, put it on the Thomas Dawson, and I'll get the clue, and then I'll move back with the track shoes. So I'll use the raven uh, in the midst of this uh, action with the track shoes. 
and it's a cultist, it's a zero reveal an additional chaos token if you reveal one or more curse tokens during this test you automatically fail and we get a minus one, so minus two in total oh no, a minus one in total, we succeed and we'll move back here then uh, that is all we can do upkeep, we draw a card we get Granny Orn and we gain one resource so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn we add a Doom uh, the Doom Tressler hold is 6 and um, which I didn't mention is that there is a force ability on the agenda so if we end our turn if we start our turn and end our turn in a fully flooded location and don't go into an unflooded or partially flooded location in between the turn we take 5 direct damage and yeah so the encounter card for this turn is uh, fulfill the oaths revelation if it is act 1 test agility 3 for each of these skill tests you fail take 1 damage okay I'm testing uh, 5 versus 3 it's a minus 2 so we don't fail uh, first action let's move to the first floor hall and first floor uh, uh, it's uh, the hall of blood forced after hall of blood is revealed place the set aside red key on it forced after you fail a skill test while investigating hall of blood take one horror so we need to the red key here and uh, we needed the red key here to get the uh, strange idol from there at this point we don't have a good way to investigate uh, we are two intellect versus three so I'm uh, resorting to drawing a card to try to find some clue tech we find alter fate and I'll grab another card resourceful is a good one we could uh, utilize that later but I think that is our turn no enemies we go to upkeep we draw a card we find the old key ring really nice and we gain one resource so our hand is old key ring resourceful alter fate granny or ancient derringer belly of the beast and grit your teeth so seven cards that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add another do and counter card for this turn is stone barrier attached to the nearest location without the stone barrier attached if attached location is flooded stone barrier gains surge while the stone barrier is ready investigators cannot move out of uh, attached location so we test agility 1 strength Two or uh, intellect three. If you succeed, exhaust stone barrier. But uh, I think I'm alter fating fast action. I'll play this, remove it. Then I will play old keyring. Investigate, and I'm committing the resource fall to the test. So I mean, uh, the shroud is one with the old hearing, and I'm investigating three versus one, and it's a minus one. So we grab this clue. We also grab this key, and uh, uh, with resource fall, we'll grab the mysterious raven back into our hand. Then, last action we'll move to the grand entryway and use the track shoes. So, uh, 
a zero, we succeed, we'll move here. Next turn we can spend the red key. So in this scenario we have a new mechanic, which is to spend the keys. Uh, whenever we spend the key we put the spent keys onto the uh, scenario card, uh, reference card here. Uh, skulls are minus one for each key on this card. So the more we spend the keys, the harder the skulls become. And we succeeded, so all key ring loses one key. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, it's neither rain nor snow, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another two, encounter card for this turn is Heralds of the Deep. Test willpower 3, 5 instead if your location is spotted. So we are testing willpower 5, for each point you fail by, add one curse token to the chaos bag. If Cannot herald of the deep gain search. So, um, I think I'm just testing this four versus five. We have a way to remove a lot of curse tokens later, so I'll just test it. Uh, four versus five. It's a skull, it's a uh, minus zero, so we add one curse token into the back. That's not that bad. That is the Mythospace we failed, so we get an extra action for this turn. I'll spend that action to grab the idol. So we get a uh, Gunplay statue, Mysterious Relic, Item Relic Cursed. Uh, fast trigger ability, exhaust and slay statue and add two curse tokens to the chaos pack. <coughs> Deal one damage to a humanoid enemy at your location. Action spend a blue, white, red or yellow key. Ready and slay statue and flip this to its other side. So we spent the red key to get this. Uh, second action will move and we'll use the track shoes to move again oh yeah and uh, when we failed i think i'm yeah i'm i think i'm saving this because we really don't do a lot of other tests this turn so it's a minus one so we succeed, we'll move out to the hall corridors on the second floor. It's a two shroud location, zero clues. Action spent the black key. Remember that you have unlocked the third floor. So we need to find the black key. I'll move again and uh, this time let's go to this side first. So we find the hall of loyalty. Uh, spent the blue, red, white or yellow keys. Uh, choose three of the following. Heal one damage, draw two cards, gain three resources, add four less tokens to the chaos back. Victory point one. And I think we could just ignore this location. I think we need to find the black key now. So I'll move back here. That is our turn. So no enemies. We go to upkeep. Draw a card, we get another grit your teeth. Seven cards, gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, the doom. Encounter card for this turn is another hero of the deep who shuffled this deck. So uh, test willpower three because we are not in a flawed location. So four versus three. Just testing it. It's a minus one, so this time we succeed. No curse tokens added. And uh, first action will move to the second floor hall on the left side. It's the hall of rebirth. Two shroud, one clue. Forced after you reveal hall of rebirth, draw the set aside apostle of Dagon enemy. Uh, 
and uh, there's one clue here. Then we get the uh, upholstery of Dagon. This looks quite nasty. So, Apostle of Dagon, uh, humanoid, hybrid cultist, true fight, three health, to evade. Humanoid, hybrid cultist, Apostle of Dagon gets plus one health per investigator, so four health. Forced after Apostle of Dagon enters play, place the set aside black key on it. Forced when an investigator deals one or more damage to Apostle of Dagon, add one curse token to the chaos bag. So this guy engages us and uh, has the black key on it. So I think as a fast triggered ability I'll just exhaust the teachings of the order to defeat this guy because it's not elite. So when we defeat this guy we get control of its key. And it's worth a victory point, so we put it in the victory display. And then uh, this should be ready. Uh, I think we take an easy clue from here. So I'll investigate the uh, old key ring. It's as. Uh, Minus four, if you fail, add a curse token to the chaos pack. Uh, we are investigating against zero with the keyring, so we grab this clue. And the keyring is depleted. Uh, last action, we'll move uh, to the whole corridor over here. And that is our turn. So no enemies, upkeep, we draw a card, it's called by the mists, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5, doom of 6, then counter card for this turn is uh, Wizard of the Order, any empty location, uh, retaliate. Paused at the end of the middle space, place one doom on Wizard of the Order. So I'll just place it over here. At the end of the middle space, we add a doom on it. Uh, first action, I'll spend the black key. Remember that you have unlocked the third floor. We'll move to the third floor. Post after the Hall of Silence is uh, revealed, place the set aside purple key on it. There is one clue here. Second action. Uh, actually, the last action. It is to play the Mysterious Raven. And I'll just use the Mysterious Raven right away. It also takes another horror. So we'll grab this clue, grab this key, and. Uh, we are ready to head here, so you, uh, we can spend three clues and as a group and spend the purple key to remember that we have unlocked the entrance to the caves. So we do that next turn, and I think we're just ignoring the wizard of the order. We are advancing either way next turn, so it doesn't matter. So. Um, Yeah, uh, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, we draw a card, neither rain nor snow, and we gain one resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn, so when this should be ready. Okay, so let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom, and the agenda advances. So, encounter in the deep. In a flooded hall of the order, you come across an onyx statue depicting a creature similar to the ones you saw in Devilry. 
just as you are pondering the nature of its existence, you hear a faint chanting up ahead. You don't play, you don't play. Before you can interpret the strange syllables, there is a splash behind you. You hide and hold your breath and as you, the figure approaches. The gentle sloshing of their steps passes and fades into the distance. Your, you shadow the figures, following them to the site of the ritual. Add two curse tokens to the chaos bag. Check campaign log. Uh, just add the curse tokens now. So if a jailbreak is listed under memories covered, it is in your campaign log. Uh, spawn the set aside suspect enemy at the third floor location or at the grand entryway. If a third floor location is not in play, ignoring that enemy's revelation ability, place the set aside blue key on that enemy. Otherwise, the lead investigator searches the encounter deck for a cultist enemy and spawns it in a connecting location of the encounter deck. Uh, we have the jailbreak, so we spawn the enemy here. And our cultist is Barnabas Marsh. So it, it's a 3 fight, uh, 4 health to evade humanoid suspect elite. Revelation, uh, we ignore that. Uh, and the parlay action too. So this guy comes into play. I'll just put it over here for now. So it's engaged with us and it has the blue key on it. Then um, Nothing else happens at this point. Then we are ready to take the encounter card for this gen. Oh yeah, this also this doom gets removed and we add another doom at the end of the mythos. And it's the initiate of Dagon. So we'll just spawn it over there. We don't really need to uh, find that enemy. First action, we'll evade Barnabas Mars. Yeah, so we're evading five versus... Uh, actually, uh, we have quite a lot of uh, curse tokens in the back, so I'll use the teachings of the order to remove all the curse tokens, so just a moment while I'll do that. Okay, I think that's most of them. Let's just double check. Yeah, there was one more. So uh, we had eight uh, curse tokens in the back, but we got rid of all of them. So uh, basically, the teachings of the order is depleted. There are no more actions on it. Now, uh, as first action, we will evade Barnabas Mars, and it is a minus three, and we don't fail. So uh, we evade Barnabas Mars. Second action, we'll move to the fall corridors, and I'll use the track shoes again so uh, 5 versus 3 I will just uh, in case we pull a bad token uh, put the night rain or snow so it's a 0 so we didn't need to commit that we get an extra move here and last action we spent the purple key and immediately when uh, it's, if each surviving investigator is at the grand entry way and the investigators have unlocked the entrance to the caves advance we needed to spend three clues for this secrecy 
so each of the orders chambers are devoted to an aspect of their grand scheme. The secret that lies at the foundation of the order, the poison that dwells in the roots of instruments. But whatever that secret is, it is just beyond your grasp. At le least until the moment you discover the truth behind the building itself. It is no nothing but a cover for the order's true headquarters. As you unlock the pathway that leads into the caverns, cavernous depths beneath the building, you wonder what secrets could possibly dwell below. If a suspect enemy is in play, remove it from the game. So, we have this suspect enemy here, so it's removed. I get it. Uh, I think the key drops. I'm not sure. So this uh, is removed from the game. Remove each location other than the grand entryway from the game. Or add them to the victory display if they have victory X and no clues on them. Discard each card at those locations. Shuffle the set aside title tunnel locations and put them off. Uh, put each of them into play. Increase the cloud level of each location. Shuffle each set aside CCG and title alignment cards into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard file. So I'll pause the video for a moment and. Uh, do the setup, so uh, we'll start our next enemy phase with the new setup, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have seven tidal tunnel locations, all connected as they are cave locations to the grand entryway. So we need to find a way to open the final depths, and uh, then we can advance the act. But that's end of the investigation phase. Uh, we'll go to upkeep because there are no enemies. They all got discarded. Uh, we added one location to victory display without any clues on it. So we draw a card. Uh, we get the resourceful and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom. And one th thing we forgot to do uh, was to shuffle the encounter discard pile and uh, battle alignments and CCGs into the encounter deck, so we'll do that quickly now before we draw our counter card for this turn. So the encounter card for this turn is a Mysterious Chanting, just search for a, well, Acolyte. I'll spawn it uh, somewhere, I'll just put it over here. That is a fine place to put it. So, first action. I think we don't mind this because we haven't taken that much damage yet, so... Just move over here. There's one clue here. Easy shroud. It's uh, oh yeah, and uh, all of these locations are partially flooded when we start. So I'll just check it quickly. Increase the flood level, so that is the second thing I forgot. So I'll just add the partially flooded location tokens here. And uh, this is fully flooded, so I'll just change it to fully flooded. Um, hmm, now I have to... I think I try to investigate here, because now I have a chance to... ...use resourceful to get some... Uh, ...the key ring, for example, back into my hand. So I'll commit uh, neither rain nor snow and resourceful to the test to investigate. So I'm investigating... Uh, uh, 6 versus 2 and it's a minus 3 so we grab this clue also uh, we trigger resourceful and I'll grab the old key ring back into my hand last action I'll move over here and use the uh, track shoes to scout another location it's a plus 1 
Uh, we'll go over here. Okay, so we find the tidal pool. One shot location. Uh, oh, correction, it's a four shot location with the flood token. One clue here, and we shuffle these keys and place one at random over here. And uh, that is our turn. So, no enemies are well, that one enemy we go to upkeep, draw a card. We find look what I found really good. Gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, uh, two of six. And counter card for this turn is locked door. Okay, well, uh, let's just forget about this clue then. So, I think we're just moving out from here. So, first action I'll move here. I'll test the track shoes. Skull is a minus one for each key on this card, minus three. So, we actually failed the track shoes test. We are only five against three. So, fortunately, we don't get the extra movement, but we get an extra action for bailing. I'll also play Grit Your Teeth. We'll move uh, down to here. Okay, so another so this key goes there. Then just checking that exhaust it. Uh, I'll play the old key ring. I'll investigate. I'll use the old key ring. So uh, we have uh, intellect of three against two. Should I commit something else? I think it's fine. We're two up, so hopefully we get this clue. Uh, it's a minus one, so we grab the clue. Lose one charge from the keyring, which we already apparently did, and we get the yellow key. Okay, maybe that comes into use later. And uh, I think that is our turn. No enemy actions. Uh, we draw a card, snare trap, gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we had a doom. Uh, four of six encounter card for this turn is fulfill the oath. We are at act two, uh, so we test uh, agility and strength. I'm testing agility as it is. So five versus three, it's a plus one. Then we test uh, strength. Uh, to so that we fail, so we take one damage, put it on Dawson, and uh, we fail a test, so we get an extra action, which is nice. And we also use the with your teeth to boost our ability. And uh, first action, we'll move, use the uh, track shoes, which uh, I always forget to ready. So we're testing six versus three. It's a minus one. We'll move over here. And it's uh, okay. So doorway to the depths. Pause. After doorway to the depths is revealed, place the set aside green key on the location with the most clues. Uh, this has the most clues. So we can pick this location. 
then uh, action investigators to the doorway or to the depths spent the green key and three uh, clues per investigator as a group. Remember that you have unlocked the final depths. Okay, it's a five star location. So I think I'll try to use the old key ring here. Okay, so we don't spend this yet. So uh, it's a sprout of three, and I'm testing three versus three, and it's a plus one. So the key ring is gone, but we get this key and this. Uh, Blue, and we will uh, spend. Uh, no, it's not on this card. It's on here. So we do an action. We spent the green key and three clues. Group. We have unlocked the final depths. And now. Uh, the key there, three clues, so loyalty. The more you explore the caverns, the more alien and inhuman the architecture becomes. Soon feels like you have crossed the threshold of another world entirely. It is reminiscent of the ruins you saw beneath Devil Reef, but those depths are miles away from here, right? Or is this network of caves so fast it spans the entire instrument. Soon you come upon a grand set of doors in the center of the web of gilded corridors. Many of many other paths uh, stem from this hall, but it is this door and the strange heavy breathing that thrums through the walls and the floor and calls to you. Put the set aside layer of Dagon location into play fully flooded. Put the set aside Dagon enemy into play at layer of Dagon. Deep in slumber, fa side face up. Check your current agenda. If it's agenda 1A, add 10 curse tokens to the chaos pack. If it's agenda 2A, add 5 curse tokens to the chaos pack. And the third oath. The order's final secret lies just behind this door. The entire entity to which the order service is pledged, the creature that holds them in its clutches, the conspiracy beating heart. Each suspect enemy gets plus one health, loses aloof and cannot be parried with. Action of fast triggered ability, spend the blue, red, white or yellow key. Discard each obstacle card attached to your location. Objective disturb the order ritual by placing clues on this act. If there are three clues per investigator on this act, Advance. So we get the layer of Dagon, which is connected to the doorway to the depths. Then we get Dagon deep in slumber. So let's look. Uh, Dagon is an ancient one elite. No uh, dash fight, dash health, and dash evade. Dagon is slumbering. He cannot attack or engage and is immune to investigator actions and player card effects. Post. After an investigator at this location fails um, a skill test, place one resource on Dagon. Then, if there are at least one, uh, one uh, resource per investigator plus two resources on Dagon, flip him, action spend a key, remove one resource from Dagon. So we better not wake this guy up. I'll actually place him here. Easier for me to add tokens if needed. And green is appropriate color. And uh, yeah, this uh, layer of Dagon comes into play fully flooded. We have one action left. I think I will play 
a snare trap just in case down here. Uh, actually, no. I think we don't need that. I'll play Granny Orn. So we have a bit more sanity soak and ways to mitigate how much we fail by. Uh, no enemy actions we go to upkeep so we draw a card get track shoes gain one resource and that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, we add a doom onto the agenda in counter card for this turn is uh, mysterious chanting well uh, we'll add two Doom on there, uh, nothing we can do about that. Then, uh, first action is to move into the layer of Dagon. So, layer of Dagon is a three shroud, three clues location. You want play layer, post after you enter layer of Dagon, test your lowest skill value uh, difficulty three. If you fail, take on horror. Uh, test willpower 3 or agility 3 if you succeed place one of your clues on the current act you may spend one key to place one more of your clues on the current act okay so I think we are running out of time uh, we are advancing next turn which we don't want to do also I just remembered I forgot to add the curse tokens earlier. I do that now. I think we didn't do that many actions. Hopefully. Well, if I did, sorry about that. Of course, there's always a lot to remember in these scenarios, but I didn't do that many actions, so I think we're okay. So, uh, I'll move into the Lair of Dagon. There are three clues here. Uh, we have to test, uh, let's see, so if we fail we put one resource on Dagon, so I think we try to not fail this, so I'm committing willpower, willpower, oh no, well, we are testing uh, knowledge, so uh, we are not trying to get this clue, so I'll commit that to the test, so we are testing uh, 4 versus 3 and we take one horror and we put one resource on Dagon we fail a test so we get an extra action well that's lucky uh, uh, we really need oh yeah we really need one clue from here. Uh, two clues, so uh, let's back up. I didn't commit that, it just failed the test. Sorry about that, I forgot. We need to get more clues. So, uh, first action we'll investigate. I think. Uh, Investigating uh, two versus three. So uh, minus two, we fail by three, but I'll exhaust Granny Orn to fail by only two. We put one resource on Dagon, but uh, I'll play the look what I found to grab two clues. Then I'll do a other action to place the clues onto the location and I'll commit uh, these two testing agility 3 so and 7 versus 3 
minus one, and I'll spend one of the clues. So uh, one of the keys. So I'll place two clues. And last action, I'll use the snare trap or commit it rather. So the thing uh, six versus three. To place one more clue on here. It's a minus one, so we managed to put the last clue on there. So, um, if there are three clues on this act, advance, rebirth. A sudden stillness permeates the chamber. The only sound you hear is gentle rippling of the reflection pool inside the cult's hidden lair, and the pounding of your own heart in your chest. As you struggle to understand what you have seen. Whatever ritual the order was performing has been disrupted by your hand. Uh, but Agent Dawson doesn't look relieved. Okay, okay, right. He says through choked breath. His hands shakes as he lowers his weapon. Come on, quickly, we have another task to perform. Another task? You have no idea what Dawson is talking about. He notices your confusion and shakes his head. No time to explain. Follow me. Then a fuzzy darkness overtakes your memories. In your camper log, record the order visual which was disturbed. If Dagon deep in slumber is in play, in your camper log, record Dagon still slumbers. Okay, so we managed to uh, beat the scenario. Uh, we get the resolution one. Each investigator earns X experience equal to the victory x value of each card in the victory display and it is two uh, record this experience under unspent experience in your campaign log so we have six but do not spend any of it yet you will be instructed later if there is a suspect enemy in the victory display uh, record the gatekeeper has been defeated uh, there isn't Lead investigator must decide, tell Osiris nothing, complete the resolution 2, lie to Osiris, skip the resolution 3, tell Osiris everything. So, I don't know which will I choose, so we'll end it at there. Yeah, we'll end it there, and there is still an interlude which I won't read, so that was Slayer of Dagon. I really like this scenario. It's straightforward. There's not that much to remember. Uh, Stella did really good, in my opinion. Uh, we still had uh, one act to advance, so we weren't even struggling for time. So, yeah, I think even without Stella's extra actions and the fractures, which saved us a lot of moment actions in this scenario. Um, I think this is a fair fair a speed test, so you don't have to be the speediest investigator, but speed helps. So, uh, hope you guys like this playthrough, and we will see Stella in the into the maelstrom scenario next time. So thanks for watching and until next time.